What's up, guys? What's up? So it's day seven. Day seven. So today we are actually in Jedediah Smith State Park. Again. Again, we just got some shots for some companies. And yeah. now we're on our way up back to Oregon to Crater Lake. Yeah, National Park. we did some content for brands and now we're headed back on the adventure. Yeah, yep. So we're going to hit the road. It's going to be about a three and a half hour drive up there. We're going to stop in Crater Lake and then we're going to end the day at Umpqua Hot Springs, which I'm is so going to be so cool. And today is actually 4th of July, so mm -hmm. pretty cool. Um, and it's actually so busy with the holiday. We yes. were like super surprised. Everything's packed today. For sure. Um, so yeah, yeah, we were glad we were able to get in and get some pictures and people now exploring, head to our next destination. People exploring national parks on oh, yeah. the holiday. Which is pretty cool. It's awesome. Heck yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're going to hit the road and we'll show you guys what we're up to. Yep. So guys, we had to do a reverse Welcome to California picture. It was way too dark when we came through before and you have to get a picture in front of the sign. So we're actually in our way to Oregon, but we had to stop by and get the photo. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Guys. We made it to Crater Lake. We made it. Nice <laughs> second setting up the tripod. We're gonna get a picture in front of the sign. Have to. But yeah, it's been a really cool drive just driving through the woods and stuff. But we're like 20 minutes from the rim. We're gonna do the rim drive and look at all the beautiful views. It's like a 20 to 30 minute drive, and then we're heading over to the hot springs. So you gotta set up. Woof, woof. Gotta set up. All right, let's do it. <laughs> We made it! Made it to Crater Lake! Made it to Crater Lake. And it is so beautiful, beautiful, guys. So Megan was reading on our drive-in that this was a volcano that erupted a while ago. Yes. And it created this. It just like exploded and uh, created this. And it's one of the cleanest, most natural... It didn't erupt. It um, collapsed. Oh, it collapsed. Yeah. Wow, that's the crazy. volcano collapsed. I think that they have like something that talks about it right here. From mountain to lake. Yeah, Mount twelve thousand foot. Mazama? I don't know how you say it. Twelve thousand foot volcano. <laughs> Insane. That's craziness, but yeah, this is really cool. It's it's awesome not to see any boats or anything out in a lake. It's just natural and beautiful. Yeah, so I guess it was about a massive eruption and collapse seven thousand seven hundred years ago. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to uh, keep exploring, probably take some photos, and then get back on the road. That's really unique. I think so too. I think you should grab it just as maybe the one for now. There's a couple over here. I think that should be the one. I like that one a lot. Show it. Let's go for it. Is that the one, Meg? It's the one. I love it. Oh, 
Alright, Meg, here we go. Alrighty. We're headed to the hot springs. Going across the rainbow bridge. This is so cool. Wow, it's so beautiful. So we're walking across the Rainbow Bridge on our way up to Umpqua Hot Springs. Um, we've been, we've seen a lot of videos and photos of this place for a long time now and it looks so cool. We go this way. Supposedly it's just a little bit of a hike up to the top and then we're going to be chilling for a little while before the sun goes down and then make it back to our car. Uh, there was a big party happening in the parking lot, <laughs> wasn't there, Meg? A huge group of people just They were just out, chilling, hanging out, hanging out they grilling. They told us all about it and where to go, so yep. hopefully it was good advice. Hopefully it was good <laughs> advice, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna, I guess we have to climb up this little trail here and uh, make our way to the top um, to enjoy the springs. Yep. We'll see you guys up there. Yep. Guys, this is a pretty steep hike. <laughs> this is a very steep hike. A little more strenuous than I was expecting. Per usual. Per usual. I'm always underestimating the hikes. <laughs> so, our calves are going to be burning before we get to the top right now. I guess that's what the hot spring is for. Yeah, that's what the hot spring is for. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, hopefully we're close. <laughs> Awesome. All right, I'm going to jump in and check it out. So we ended our day at the hot springs. Yep. It is so cool. It is so beautiful. We are currently in one of the hotter hot springs. As you go down, it gets a little cooler, but then there's a really awesome hot one right, right next to the river. Um, and it's super, Which super beautiful. amazing. Yeah. Apparently um, there's two different sources. So yeah. that one stays hot. Whereas typically as you go down the mountain, it gets colder. Yeah, so. and it does like in layers, but then at the very bottom it's hot. The but, last one, yeah. Yeah, this is so beautiful, guys. It's like an easy little hike. The, the hike up a little bit is a little strenuous, but not too bad. I think you could do <laughs> More it. More just you need to be careful. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, I think we're going to enjoy and then probably sign off and yep. see you guys tomorrow Call as we're exploring night. a little more. See you tomorrow.
look. Looking good. <laughs> oh, I just did it in the car. What's up, guys? So, we are in Bend, Oregon today. Bend, Oregon. This town is so cool. It's so freaking cool. Every single I place. I love this place. Every single store. We haven't even gone anywhere yet. But restaurant looks so just cool. Just looking at it, it looks amazing. <laughs> it's the Monday after the 4th of July here. And we've already checked on two restaurants so far. So what are the names of them? Because they're like the most popular. Uh, the so. Victorian Cafe. And then the other one was... Gosh, I can't remember, but it was uh, both both cafes were like these really popular brunch spots, and they both had two hour waits. It's Which a Monday. Tells you that they're good. It's a Monday, it guys. It is a Monday. Don't it's know crazy. if that has something to do with it being the Monday after a holiday, which I believe probably does because yesterday was the fourth. So. Yeah, maybe so. But yeah, I think we're gonna walk around and try to find some food. Hopefully, we won't have to wait two hours. <laughs> and uh, we'll show you guys where we end up. Yeah. Alright guys, so we ended up at this place called Mother's and it looks I think incredible. we made a good choice. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh, look at yours made it. I know. Holy. I got a juice that they recommended and then I, uh, it's like an egg, spinach, and bacon wrap. So yeah. we're gonna dive in, check it out. It looks really good. <laughs> I like your shirt. Back. You're not and they got her a little treat. <laughs> A blanket. These so cool cute. blankets in here. That's so awesome. And yes. This is amazing. And the owner is so sweet. So sweet. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. We'll see you later. See you next time you're in bed. Yes, for sure. We'll be back 100%. I will. I will, not you. <laughs> So cool. Taco salsa. All right, Max. So what's the move? Want right. to explore Bend a little more? Yeah, I guess we're gonna explore Bend and try to catch some waterfalls, right? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, guys. So we just drove down the road. There's this river in Bend where people will surf the river, which is so crazy. Man, this place is so active. It's a Monday and it is so beautiful and so cool. Look at all of these people out here. So cool. We're loving it here. We're like probably gonna move here, I think. Yeah, it's so sick. We're gonna walk up the river a little bit and see if we can see any people doing the surfing because that's, Something that they're really known for here is the people surfing the river. It's just so cool. We'll show you guys what it looks like if we can find some surfers. Guys, the surfing is so cool. so cool, it's so beautiful, and these guys are actually killing it. These guys are like, what? So crazy. They're so good. It definitely makes me want to try it out because it looks so cool, it looks so fun. I mean, I would definitely wipe out, like, a lot and hard, but, man, I want to get in this water. It's hot. Seriously. All right, I think we're gonna go find a waterfall, maybe jump in the waterfall. Yeah. We'll see you guys there. We had to make a little stop for Meg. Yeah, and I'm glad we did because 
We got the solution. <laughs> She's gonna be on the meds here in a couple of days. We found out and I have a UTI. Yay! So I'm one of those gals that is just susceptible to getting me. Probably from that jacuzzi we got in. <laughs> a few, oh my god, probably. A few oh. days ago, yeah. So um, but yeah, now we're gonna head to the waterfall. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> So guys, we just got to the Blue Pool parking lot. I guess I totally failed. I thought that this was just a little hike, but turns out that it's a four mile round trip hike. Um, so yeah, we're definitely not gonna be able to do that today. It's just too long. But definitely something that we'll keep in mind for next time we make it through here. It looks really, really cool. So if you guys are in Central Oregon and wanna see a crystal clear blue pool of water check it out it's off the mckenzie river i believe it's called so and it's called blue pool actually i think that it actually has a different name let me see what's the actual name tamalich falls but people call it blue pool so now we're going to try to drive over to kusa falls and sahali falls and hopefully those aren't very long hikes because they look super cool too and then after that, we've got to get out of here and try to make it to Smith Rock State Park before the end of the day. Megan had to go hit up the restroom and we're going to be back on the road and hopefully next time you see us, we'll be at our waterfall. So it looks like we're gonna actually get to see a waterfall. Waterfall number two. Yes. But first one we actually get to see. <laughs> yes. So this is the Kusa Falls and it's actually just a small little hike from the parking lot. And we were just a few minutes from the other one too. So yeah. So definitely if you, if you have the you time do. to do the blue yeah. blue pools, definitely do it because the photos look incredible. Yeah. But we can And it was slammed. So there were tons of people there. Yeah, so. there was literally parking all the way out on the highway. Yeah. And so, it's a long stretch. So Yeah. Um, I mean it's it is obviously a popular one. It is 95 degrees today, so. Yeah. <laughs> Some people Very were hot and it's the day after a holiday, so Yeah, people again, are taking advantage. Busy. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> so yeah, as you can hear, we're getting really close. We'll show you guys what it looks like when we get down there. Yeah. Doesn't look the same. Black and blue, and I don't know why I ever looked away. The sun is always shining, even when it goes away. Until it comes back around, I'm here to light the way. Guys, this waterfall is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's so beautiful. All the green and the mossy stuff. It's nice. So nice. But yeah, we're gonna try to see if we can get a closer look at like it. like ferns and um, like ferns and plants growing off the sides of the hills. Yeah. It's beautiful. Super beautiful. The green, like it's so green. It is. It's really, really pretty. This has to be the best time to see it because of all the green. I don't think it'd be as pretty if all the green leaves yeah. were not and plants were not around the waterfall. Yeah, yeah. Summertime. Summertime is the right time. We got some slick shoes on trying to come down this thing. trying to make it down here.
guys. We found the trail. This is the spot. This <laughs> is the spot. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful down here. Look at the water that way. You can literally see all the way through the water. It's so crystal clear. And it is so blue. It's so beautiful. You can tell that it's ice so cold green. because of the way it's like yeah, the, the mist is, is freezing. Blue. It's a lot colder down here. But it is so, so beautiful. It's Highly great, recommend. Honestly. Literally the easiest little, you know, trail from Definitely. the parking lot. Took us like five minutes. So, yeah, yeah so, so cool. We're going to uh, get some shots here and head back up. Every time I look at you, the color fills the open skies in ways I never knew. So waves of change are coming, crashing in the blue. Right until the morning light, I'm holding on to you. We're better together. Guys, highly recommend that one. Kusa Falls. Wait, right? Kusa Falls, yeah. Kusa Falls. K O O S A H. And you have to do the trail that goes down to the side of the river. Yeah. It's um, a little random trail that's not like on the path, but we'll you can see. Path to it from the main path. You can see the dirt so, marks and stuff, but yeah. yeah, it's super, super cool. Highly recommend It's a little steep, but just be careful. Yeah, we're in tennis shoes. <laughs> Wear, so uh, we're slipping and sliding going down and it's pretty yeah. steep, so. Wear some hiking boots for yeah. sure. So I think we may try to see the other falls before we head back, but um, I don't know if we have enough time. We'll see. If not, we might see you back in Bend. <laughs> All right, guys. So we drove like literally a quarter of a mile up the road. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're at Sahali. On the same river. On the same river, Sahali Falls. So it's super, super close from the last one. Also very close to the parking lot. As you can hear, we're getting super close, so we're gonna check it out and then we're gonna hit the road. guys so we stopped at we actually Megan's trying to give people a show in her little dress <laughs> it's a little windy out but we just stopped at El Sancho in Bend before we head up to Smith Rock State Park Sancho or Sancho El Sancho or Sancho I don't know I can't pronounce anything but anyway so we actually did an online order for this place so that we could potentially eat here, but it's super busy, so we're probably just gonna have to pick it up. But it would be cool to take our dinner to the view. So. Yeah, so the sun sets the in a couple of hours and we should get up to Smith Rock State Park in enough time to see a really cool sunset. So we're super pumped about that. So yeah, our food should be coming up here shortly and uh, we're gonna hit the road and we're gonna show you guys Smith Rock. It's gonna be so cool. Yay. We picked up our food. Got the goods. And now we're in a car wash. <laughs> our car has been through it on this yeah, trip. It really has. So it's super dirty. We're trying to get it cleaned up so it'll look really nice for the rest of the trip. And it's then nice we're gonna be up at Smith Rock State Park. We'll see you guys there. <laughs> We made it to Smith Rock State Park. The sun is just starting to set, as you can tell in the background. It's going down. But this place is beautiful and so random. My gosh, like we are only 30 minutes outside of Bend, which was super, super green and big trees and all that. And then now we're in what looks like the Grand Canyon or Utah or something. It's like super weird. 
but so, so beautiful, a perfect sunset spot. So we're gonna take our food that we just got and- uh, I kicked a rock at you. I kicked a rock at you? <laughs> I don't know what I just said. But we're gonna take our blanket that we just bought too, uh, chill on it and watch the sunset and have some food. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show you guys what it looks like at our spot. Guys, we just got some amazing shots. Mine is? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. With Megan with the blanket. Look at that view, guys. So stinking beautiful. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. Oh we my got gosh. Some really good shots. The lighting is. Yes, the lighting is absolutely perfect. But yes, that view. Oh my gosh. What? Incredible. All right, let's eat. So we found our spot. It is so awesome. We found this little bench that's overlooking you everything. Dug in. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. I already had a bite of a taco. But yeah, so we got some tacos, some, uh, what's the corn, Megan? Again? Street corn. Mexican street corn and some guac and salsa. Yeah, they look so. amazing. It's perfect How for this it, view. James? It was actually <laughs> really good. <laughs> but yes, this view is amazing. I think we're gonna sign off for tonight. We're gonna sit here and enjoy our food. Yeah. And tomorrow Watch we're actually gonna be in Mount Hood. Um, we've got a lot of fun things planned for tomorrow. And uh, we'll definitely be bringing you guys along. Good night. Good night, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Give me, give me that